Hey team, welcome to my week in outfits. Here you'll find the looks I keep reaching for at the moment containing some of my most cherished pieces. Let's get into it. We're kickstarting the week with a matter of monochrome. I'm wearing a plain white linen shirt, which makes a great layering piece for the colder months with my trusty pair of Camilla Bloom trousers. Here's one of my favorite secondhand jumpers, which is a lovely cream number, and it's just keeping things monochromatic. I also have some secondhand white trainers that were beautifully upcycled with this coffee colored swirl design by someone from my community. Now for the MVP, this is Max's high school varsity letterman jacket, which he got when he was 14, and my mum in love kindly brought this over for our wedding. It's nearly 20 years old and it's in the best condition, job obsessed with it and the way it lets me live out my American high school movie dreams. I added a beige beanie for some extra warmth and a secondhand white bag. For Tuesday, I'm wearing the best t-shirt I own. My friend Chloe found this secondhand t-shirt in Cantamanto Market in Ghana and upcycled it by hand to give it a new lease of life. She gave it to me as a present and I nearly cried when I opened the parcel. Here I am tucking it into my absolute staple vintage jeans secured with a black belt and I'm wearing my go-to secondhand winter boots. Next, I threw on a charity shop grey hoodie, which says your digital identity on the back. We'll talk about this when I next have a social media induced existential crisis. And here we have my favourite secondhand vintage leather blazer, which I have barely taken off this winter, a claw clip from Depop and my favourite crossbody bag. This t-shirt needs a dance floor. Hump day calls for some very comfy base layers and an old cotton jumper, which is aging like fine red wine. I slipped on my white trainers and then added a secondhand vintage chain and my over a decade old arty rings to make it a little more glam. The black leather blazer is back and to make it extra Joe Goldberg, I added my New York Yankees cap that I borrowed from my sister-in-law and this handbag for a tiny pop of color. This Thursday look is Cruel Intentions meets The Craft. I adore this 2015 Lulu Grid skirt from American Apparel and I've teamed it with some cozy black tights to help preserve my dignity. And that darn blazer is back again. For a little dose of dark academia, I added some thrifted hair clips and slipped on my all time favorite secondhand platforms, which took about a month to break in, but were very much worth the wait. For a final dusting of Annette in Cruel Intentions, I tied my jumper over my shoulders and slipped on my Jimmy Fairly Rosalie sunglasses. I'm also wearing my favorite crossbody bag from Higher Goods. I love this look. It's giving me good energy and just makes me feel very cute and chic. An absolute dream of a base layer outfit for Friday comes in the form of my vintage jeans, black belt, white polo neck and black boots. And I was keen to look like a librarian. So I added a maroon colored cardigan, my arty rings, and then tucked the front section of the cardigan in to make things look a little more pulled together. I then decided to go full equestrian on you with a secondhand tweed blazer. Now I absolutely love the look of a blazer underneath a coat. I think it adds a really interesting dimension and I love how the layers look so I threw on my number one winter coat which I know you've seen a million times I got it from Vestia Collective and then I also added a black bucket bag to tie in with the black boots and help things feel a little more seamless I really love this look I like how cozy it is and it's just one of my go-to's of the moment Slipping into Saturday in my upcycled wedding dress, which was recently altered by Mary at Jane Borvis, which is where I bought my dress. We hacked the train off to make it a midi length and then use the excess fabric to create a panel at the back to help it fit better. I cannot wait to wear this by the seaside this summer, but for now it's providing an amazing layering piece. This is my favorite secondhand white vintage shirt, which has this awesome 1970s collar and some very gorgeous, but entirely impractical sleeves. I really want the attention to be on the shirt collar and the skirt part of the slip dress in this outfit. So I added a slightly oversized charcoal gray jumper to accentuate this. 
Next, I added some gray cable knit socks and my black platforms, not forgetting to roll my socks down a little because I'm a cool sixth former, okay? The black blazer is back and I'm off to audition for the remake of The Craft. To further accentuate the color of the shirt, I decided to pull my hair back with a claw clip and I added my crossbody bag because it's Saturday and I need something to hold my three lip liners, two lip glosses, one lip balm, lost hopes and forgotten dreams when I hit the D floor. My Sunday outfit needs to be farmer's market, long walk and pub lunch appropriate. So I've brought back my favorite embellished t-shirt for when being fireside at said pub gets a little too warm, but I still want to chew your ear off about the impacts of fast fashion. I'm also wearing my trusty black flares and I'm wearing my old Riley hoodie. For a sprinkle of chic and in case I run into your parents, I added some gold accessories to help zhuzh the outfit up a little. A little hack here, I'm tucking my trousers into my boots as this really sharpens things up. On comes my trusty winter coat, which your dogs are welcome to take shelter in when I bump into them on my walk. I also added a pair of sunnies because there's a small chance I'm hungover and a bigger chance that I want to give at least the illusion that I'm cool. My same black bag is back and this time it contains dog treats and then I finally tucked that little tag back into my cap, I don't know if you noticed that, which I'm wearing because there's something about Sunday that makes me want to keep a low profile. Thank you for watching, let me know what your favourite piece or look was in the comments and I'll see you soon. Big kiss!